everybody, I am Vet Nursing Prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're doing some more math. This has been requested by you guys. Could I do some more practice math questions, specifically milligrams per kilogram per day type questions. So that's what this whole video is about. I'm gonna go over four practice questions. What I would like to do with this video is to read you the problem, have you pause it and try and figure it out on your own, then hit play again, and then we'll figure it out together. So let's get into the first one. We have the nurse. They are preparing to administer medication A, 30 milligrams per kilogram per day, divided equally every 12 hours to a toddler who weighs 33 pounds. Available is medication A, 200 milligrams per 5 ml suspension. So how many mLs should the nurse administer? So we're looking for mLs. So that's gonna be in our answer. And if it's gonna be in our answer, it needs to be in our numerator. So where do we see that here? 200 milligrams is the equivalent of five mLs. What else do we know? We know we need to administer 30 milligrams per kilogram per day. And then we also know that we have a child that weighs 33 pounds. So we don't have pounds on here anywhere, right? So we need to do a conversion. So one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. And now we can add our 33 pounds. So we can start crossing stuff off now. So cross off our milligrams cross off our kilograms, and cross off our pounds. So this is gonna leave us with mLs over day. So that's important at this point to know that we're doing total in a day at this point in the problem, okay? So punch it into your calculator and you get 11.25 mLs per day. But we're not done, right? Because we wanna know how many mLs per dose. This is every 12 hours. So we're gonna divide this by two, and it's gonna be 5.6 mLs per dose. So that's our answer for this one, is 5.6 mLs. Let's do another one. Let's try another. So the nurse is preparing to administer medication B, one milligram per kilogram per dose, divided equally every 12 hours to a patient who weighs 185 pounds. How many milligrams should the nurse administer per dose? So pause. Okay, let's start. So we're looking for milligrams per dose in our answer. So we'll need to have milligrams on our numerator on our top and eventually we'll have dose on the bottom. So let's get there. So where do we see milligrams? Here. So one milligram per kilogram per dose. We need to do a converting factor because we don't have kilograms anywhere else, we have pounds. So one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. And then we have a 185 pound patient. So then we'll cross off our kilograms, we'll cross off our pounds. This will leave us with milligrams in our numerator and dose in our denominator, so that's correct. So then we gotta punch it in, do the math, and we get 84.1 milligrams. We get like 84.09, etc. cetera, um, but we're gonna round it, okay? So 84.1 milligrams per dose is our answer. Let's try another one. Now let's do one with medication C. So the nurse is caring for a patient who is prescribed medication C five milligrams per kilogram every 12 hours. The patient weighs 88 pounds. How many milligrams should the nurse administer per dose? So pause it, and now let's figure it out. So we're looking for milligrams per dose. Now, the dose part is just kind of implied. You don't actually have to write it, but if you want to, to help yourself out, you can do that. So in this case, the dose is every 12 hours. So if you wanna put this in, you can, you don't have to. 
but we know this is what we're looking for in our numerator and this will be in our denominator. So we'll have milligrams at the top. So five milligrams per kilogram Q12. And then we need to do a conversion, right? Because we have pounds. So one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. And then we have our patient that weighs 88 pounds. So that kilograms will cancel, our pounds will cancel. That will leave us with milligrams on top. And then our dose, which is Q12 on the bottom. Put in your calculator, do the math, and you get 200. So the patient is going to receive 200 milligrams every 12 hours. So 400 total in the day. Let's do one more. All right, last one. And this one's a little different because we're not gonna be using pounds. So we have the nurse caring for a baby. That weighs 3,500 grams and is prescribed medication D, 50 milligrams per kilogram, three times a day. How many milligrams should the nurse administer per dose? So, pause, and we're back, let's get into it. So we're looking for milligrams. So we need to have milligrams in our numerator. And where do we see that? Right here. So 50 milligrams per kilogram. If you want to add the three times a day, you can. Okay. The baby weighs um, 3,500 grams. So now we need to convert kilograms and grams. So one kilogram is 1,000 grams. And then we know the weight of the baby. So now we can cancel stuff. So cancel our kilograms, cancel our grams. We'll end up with milligrams in our answer, and we'll get 175 milligrams three times a day. So how many milligrams should the nurse administer? 175. So that was my video doing some more practice problems for you. If you found this helpful, let me know. Give it a thumbs up. Make a comment. Let me know if you want me to do more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.